Hi everyone, I'm Cool Zay's Makeup, and I'm going to do a cinnamon inspired makeup tutorial before it gets started. I did my brows, took the moisturizer, and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be 99% drugstore affordable, so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And at check out, let's get started. This is part of my food inspired makeup series. Cinnamon is a spice that is found in foods such as fall drinks, hot chocolate, cinnamon rolls, and other baked goods and other foods. It looks good. It is perfect for fall. Like soon, I'm going to do a retake of a pumpkin spice inspired makeup tutorial. Well, it looks good. Cinnamon is in pumpkin spice. Onto makeup for a primer, I took Tara Kenny one, you know Joe, and I wait for a shot before I can do my left eye. The palette that I'm using is Beauty Glaze Color Studio Palette. I'm taking a light brown, sort of like the burnt orange in the champagne from this palette. And I'm also using Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlighter, the bronze shade on my lid because it's way too dark as a facial highlighter. The brushes I'm using are two from Best Hope, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, and one e.l.f. total face brush. And it's a sunny day in London by the time I'm filming this video. For a crease, I'm taking a light brown, which I use every day. The brush I'm using is the Best Hope Angle Shower Brush. I'm just going to get in there. Cinnamon is definitely warm, and I love cinnamon. It's really good. If you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie. And I've been doing makeup videos for four years. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, Don Pigment? I'm going to blend it. The car speed arrow went up on my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. This is a really pigmented palette so be careful and this like combination of fall shades will make my blue eyes pop for the lower lash line i'm taking a burnt orange it might tickle a little bit and my eye is watering the brush i'm using is the best hope small hour brush to get in there precisely a burnt orange to represent the warm and spiciness of cinnamon. I was originally going to use a bright orange, but I was like, nah. I wanted to make it wearable because I was looking at some cinnamon colors. And cinnamon is a spice for food. And last year for the fall, I did a Cinnamon Toast Crunch inspired makeup tutorial. And it was good. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back, ignore the redness that's on my right under eye. I don't know what happened. I guess I'm prone to redness. It looks good. No eyeliner on the waterline. Well, I need to get another like taupe or like sort of like a shimmery eyeliner for the waterline that's neutral. For the lid, I'm taking hard candy rose gold. Highlighter, well, the bronzy shade, and my eyes watering a little bit. This shade is way too dark as a facial highlighter. Otherwise, I will look like the bronze version of the Tin Man, and I don't want that. And just burn across it evenly to represent, like, sort of like. The warmness of cinnamon. I think like in the future I'm going to do an apple cinnamon inspired makeup tutorial. Well, who knows? And then I'm definitely going to do a cinnamon roll inspired makeup tutorial. Well, that will be fun for fall. That looks good. I'm going to add one more layer for the sake of this video. I don't know if my makeup mirror lights are picking it up but it's like a bronzy shade and yes you can use highlighter as 
eyeshadow. I believe I did it a couple of times before. For the inner corner, I'm taking the champagne shade from the Beauty Glaze palette. It looks good. I get plus mascara to this eye, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. The bronze up my face. I'm taking Hard Candy Instant Summer Bronzer. The brush I'm using is the Elf Little Face Brush. I'm going to swirl my brush in there. And I'm going to do, like, a number for you on my face, which is most flattering. Remember, get it on the tip of your brush. This will represent the warm brown hues and cinnamon and then go across the nose and then blend it so we don't have any harsh lines. Doing your bronzer in like a free or an E shape is most flattering. It looks good. Do I have any like brush hairs? Or maybe it's just my hair. Oh, it's just my hair. Yeah, I showered before filming this makeup tutorial. Well, it looks good. And a big no-no is applying bronzer all over your face. Otherwise, you will look like an Oompa Loompa. And those like days of applying bronzer all over the face, like in the 2000s, is over. To hide the rest of my face, I'm taking Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlighter. This time, I'm taking the White Gold shade. And I'm going to start on my nose. The normal places that I highlight, I cannot live without highlighter. It is the icing on the cake for me. And my go-to highlighter shade is white. And since I have oily skin, powder is the way to go. That looks good. As I turn my head to the light, you can really see that sheen. It looks good so far. For lip prep, I'm taking Taste Beauty Pop Tarts Brown Sugar Cinnamon Lip Balm. I believe this smells like brown sugar and cinnamon. Perfect for this, like, inspired makeup store. I'm going to go to the paper, so let's throw some hard drive. Chap lips are not cute. For, like, a neutral lip gloss, I'm taking Bite Beauty Yes Saver Puffing Lip Gloss and Sugar Glaze. No lip liner. This came in a pack of free, like, that someone gave me from Winners. It kind of looks like this. And it definitely smells like cinnamon, so that's why I'm doing it. It comes with this shade, like a clearer shade, and then a redder shade. I hope I can get some out of the tube. Well, it's just minis. And unfortunately, Bite Beauty is discontinued. Ugh. Oh, I got some out. Just spread it on your lips evenly. Did you know that cinnamon is a pumping agent in lip gloss? Here is the completed cinnamon inspired makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. This is perfect for fall. This eyeshadow combination will make my blue eyes bluer. Since I have blue eyes, and I'm definitely a fall girl. I'm a soft autumn. It looks very cute. So stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.